I want to talk about this Dana White and Bud Light situation because a lot of people in the chat have been asking about it. Mm -hmm. And the news of this broke the last time that we were in Vegas hanging out with Dana White for the for Power Slap 5, that he signed a $100 million deal with Bud Light to be the official beer of the of the uh, UFC. Uh, and right when this news broke, the very first thing that I thought of was this was Bud Light selling out not necessarily Dana White selling out, right? Like that's that's the very first thought that I had on this because when you think about it, like Dana White in the UFC, he's not changing his values to align with whatever Bud Light was doing with the Dylan Mulvaney trans thing, right? Like it, like it forced Bud Light to say, man, we messed up so badly that we have to sign a $100 million sponsorship deal with the most masculine sport in the world, and we have to cave and bend to what Dana White has built up. Now, you know, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say, I wish Dana White had come out and say, get bent. I wish he had said, hey, kick rocks and get lost. That's not what he ended up doing. Now, I'm not, I'm never gonna drink Bud Light again, but I'm not, I wasn't drinking Bud Light to begin with. So yeah. I'm not necessarily the, the demographic. Maybe you guys can tell me. If this were Maker's Mark, we'd be having a very different conversation. <laughs> but it didn't seem like, it seemed like it, for all of the people who are going to keep boycotting Bud Light because they don't wanna align themselves with whatever they were doing with the Dylan Mulvaney or their, their new global woke agenda, then all that's happened is they forced Bud Light to give $100 million of dry powder capital to Dana White to grow his brand, and people still aren't going to drink it. Yeah, look, I got a pretty easy way to, to, to like, collate this. Dylan Mulvaney versus Conor McGregor. Men can be women. <laughs> women can be men. Put them in the ring. Let's fight. Let's well, find out. But if anything, if I'm, if I'm Dana White and I did take a sponsor, I'm going to push it as far as I can. I'm going to have the most conservative takes. I want to see how serious Bud Light's about it. Are you just faking it? All right, are you just trying to get in good gracious? Because look, man, I don't drink Bud Light. I'll never drink Bud Light. Um, but I do I do think people deserve second chances. Um, even if it was some crazy marketing lady, apparently the CEO didn't know about it. Yeah, I'm sure about that. Um, but, you know, I trust in Dana White. I trust in his decisions. And look, um, it'll, you'll see if they're really serious about actually being, you know, good about beer having a good beer and not being about politics. Did so. you drink Bud Light before? Like, that that's your, not my go-to. Was that your I beer? Did. No, I'm a Miller. I'm that's a Miller. your go-to I'm a Miller beer? That, well, so was, how do you was, feel moving I'm forward? I'm a Miller. I haven't drank it since. Yeah. Well, know. like, I don't drink, like, I'm, you know, uh, again, at the end of the day, there's multiple. It wasn't like, I just drink Bud Light and all these other beers suck. Mm -hmm. No. I used to drink just Bud Heavies. Like, that that was the go-to. Mm. And then, you know, you get older and stuff like that. But I don't mind Miller Lite. Like, like hell, I'll drink a Blue Moon or a Yingling. Yeah. Like, it doesn't, you know, at the end of the day. I mean, don't you see this as a win, though, for the company to say, like, I would rather them come out and apologize and say, no, we messed up and did something bad, rather than the CEO of Anheuser-Busch talking about, no, our quarterly projections are unscathed. What, what are you talking but about? That's a sort of elitist wrong. mindset. But this is me, this is your way of telling me that you messed up so badly, that you're having to change your values to get on board with the most masculine sport in the world. And if that ends up changing over time, if like we see something where the UFC starts selling Dylan Mulvaney cans at yeah. the fights, so then of that. course like we'll, I, like we'll call Dana White out with everyone else. I just feel like right now he fleeced them. Yeah, look, I mean, 100 million, that's a lot of cake. That's a lot of cake. And look, like I said, Mulvaney McGregor, UFC, let's do it. You want to talk, <laughs> talk about pay-per-views? Everybody on YouTube, appreciate you guys stopping by. Do us a favor if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button on any videos, and turn that notification bell on so you know when we drop content.